Hi there, I'm Melissa and this is Jerry. Hi. And we're here today. We're here today to show you the benefits of integrating your Classworks awesome content with your learning management system while we're all trying to figure out how digital learning can work for our kids. Um, we're going to just take a few minutes to show you. Let me share my screen really quickly to show you six different things that Classworks offers you for free because you have a learning management system and you have Classworks. We know teachers are scrambling right now to find resources and they're scrambling to find high quality standards-based resources. The awesome news is Classworks has 7,000 different activities in it, over 1,500 hours of instruction, and all of that is automatically scored in your learning management system because they have a deep link. And we're gonna show you that there are two different types of learning units in Classworks and how those work. We'll also show you the student experience. And one thing that's really important is with digital learning, it's really hard to get visibility into student learning, right? You know they watched the video maybe, you know they downloaded your worksheet, but really what was their thought process as they solved problems and answered questions? And using some of our Classworks instruction, you have that visibility in your learning management system. And then finally, we'll do a quick how-to so you can see how to actually assign that. Jerry, is there anything else that we wanted to talk about today? No, I think that's a great summary. Okay, awesome. Well, the, the, uh, the LMS that we're using today is Schoology, but I think it's really important to let you know that all learning management systems that integrate with Classworks do it the exact same way. With the exception of Google Classroom, we have a very different integration with Google Classroom, and we have a different um, little webinar video that shows you how we work with Google Classroom, so make sure you check that one out. But if you're using anything like, I don't know if Haiku Learning is still called that, or Schoology, or Blackboard, or It's Learning, or Brightspace, these all really work the same way. So we're just using Schoology as an example. So we've got two different units here by way of example that we want to show you. We've got a teacher's place value unit and then a fractions unit. This probably looks pretty typical, right, for what a lot of your units look like. You found a great PDF you want the kids to do, and you found a video. Now, of course, the challenge of that is you have to go find that every day, but that notwithstanding, that's a great start. But let's look at what the place value unit has. It has those same two entities, but it also has these two Classworks elements. First, I'm going to show you what those look like, and then I want to show you how the scoring works. Does that seem like the right order, Jerry, to show this? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay. So this is what the student is working on when they're working in Classworks launched directly from Schoology, as you saw. They're getting direct instruction or a mini lesson about the skill that the teacher has chosen. And she's done a standard search to find this, right? So this is scoring how much time am I spending? Am I clicking through just like I'm doing? Or is the student really taking the time to learn this? I do wanna point out all of this is fully voiced. Uh, we're on Zoom, so that's taking our voices but all of this has full audio for the student when they're doing it. Then once I finish my direct instruction piece, I actually go into scored activities. So now I'm gonna play a little game where I identify which place value um, the element coming across the log is as it's shown across the bottom. I'll show you that just super quickly. It's kind of cute. Again, all the information that the student is doing is being scored. So I need to do the six is the six thousandths. So you see it's going up here. It's building a little anthill for me. The five is in the 10 spot. Oh, that's wrong. Am I only doing the twos maybe? Um, so you can see I'm going through and I'm getting all the instructions. What is the value of the digit four? 40. There we go. So you can see that student's working and applying that skill. Then I have yet another skill that I can work on. So I've got that mini lesson you saw, then four very different and engaging interactive ways to practice and apply the skill of place value to thousands. So now once I've completed all of that, which I'm not gonna do because Jerry did it, um, I can go in and see how did the student do in this? Well, so this is awesome. I can see the student spent seven minutes in the mini lesson they spent just a couple minutes in playing each of the different application games, but they did great on it. And Jerry got a 90% on the quick quiz. So I have a lot of visibility 
into the work that the student did automatically scored inside of my learning management system. Now I also want to show you the other type of instruction that's available. And I don't think Jerry has finished this activity yet. Have you, Jerry? Nope, I haven't finished it. So. so why don't I stop sharing and we'll let Jerry go ahead and share his screen and show us how he finishes the activity. Yeah, so thanks. Um, I'm going to show you basically what the student view is, which is very similar in Schoology and Classworks, how the teacher view is just a limited view of that. So let me bring up um, the student. You can see that I'm logged on as the student for Schoology. This looks very similar. Um, the place value and fraction activity uh, that we have or the, the lesson. One of the important things that I wanted to stress is that since we're fully web based, our content works with any type of mobile device. So this could be a Chromebook, this could be an iPad, any of those devices that your uh, student information, your LMS actually supports, we will also support that as well. So you don't have to worry about whether or not this content is compatible as you're building these lessons and uh, as the students are working through those, uh, those pieces. So I'm gonna click into this guy here, this Classworks application in practice um, to show you the student view. The student gets a, uh, a launcher. They'll launch out and we'll start a new tab for them. This is all web-based, remember, so there's no apps that need to be downloaded. None of those pieces, it's automatically inside the browser. And it's just as Melissa went through the mini lesson activities and quick quizzes, you can see the results that she showed. The student also has those. And you can see that I submitted these results on 319 back to the LMS to automatically score and grade based off of that 90% inside there. One important thing to remember about the student experience is that students can come in and out of these activities depending on the pace of work or how they're, they're planning on actually tackling this work. So this could be uh, a, a day piece that, that I could work through this in a, in a day, or I could actually break this up into chunks uh, throughout the week. Just know that we're, you, the student can always come back to the, to the unit and pick up where they left off between those activities inside there, right? So uh, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna actually show you guys how the student actually submits a score once they're ready and, and feel comfortable submitting back those, those scores back to the LMS and to the teacher for grading. So I'm gonna click on this Classworks Virtual Classroom activity. I'm gonna launch it again into a new tab. And this activity, and Melissa's going to show you this a little bit later, is a little bit of a different activity uh, for classroom uh, inside there. But I, I went through and actually completed this work. You can see that I've got, I've worked seven minutes and 43 seconds and I have 100. And now I'm ready to actually submit the score. Now I could go back in and refine my answers and, and do a little bit more work if I'm ready for that. But I can always come back here when I'm ready to submit those scores back to the teacher by hitting that submit score. So I'm going to do that right now. And that basically gives us a score submitted on today um, inside there. So I'm going to pass it back to Melissa so she can actually show you how those results uh, get in the system and how you guys can create those lessons. Jerry, you're doing excellent work on your classworks. I try your really hard. Yeah. Um, so let me show you exactly what he's talking about. I did mention at the beginning there are two different types of instruction, and Jerry showed you how he did the results for the second type, but let me actually show you how those are different problems. So these are actually differentiated problems that are all standards based with a common purpose setting statement. So all of these are based on the exact same standard place value and multi digit whole numbers. So you see how our units coming together. I can see here. Um, this is what the student is doing. They can get a hint about it. They have a place where they can show their work. I was practicing this uh, presentation earlier and I did some incredible work there. Jerry, I hope your, your work is better than mine. Um, let me start it one more time. Then you can see the problems get more complex. Again, I have this canvas where I can show my work. And this is where we talk about that teacher visibility and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So Jerry actually completed this activity. So when I wanna see, well, how did Jerry how did he tackle that progressing problem? I see he got it right. Oh, I see what he did. Okay, that's great. 
And that's what was on the canvas. That's what's coming through in this little image. So you really see how the students are tackling the problem solving and it's all being automatically captured by the Classworks integration with the learning management system. So I think that's a really, just something that we're so concerned about as kids are gonna be doing things remotely. And this really gives teachers that important visibility into that. Um, so you can see, I was able to see his scores. I can go back and see his scores on the others as well. Because he submitted everything. So that full visibility into that. Now, I think we'd like to take a minute if that's right, Jerry, take a minute to show them how easy it is to add that same kind of rigor and depth into our little fractions unit. Is that right? Right. Using the external tools, we can add those units based off of standards. Perfect. So, and again, this is how all LMSs work, right? What you always look for is that external tool link. That's how Classworks is developed to work with all learning management systems is with this external tool. Now we're going to say it's a Classworks skill. We're gonna name it, um, apply my knowledge, or learn and apply, how's that? And then I'm gonna enable grading here. I'm gonna make it due next Friday. My category is introduction skills and submit. So now once I've done that, this is where I start doing, as Jerry mentioned, that standards-based search for something. So I know this is a math skill. It's fourth grade. I was looking for something to add to my fractions unit. So let's see what I might find here. Fractions. Equivalent fractions using models. Now you have two choices as a teacher. You can actually click through to this and then take a peek and see if this is exactly what you want to do or not. Or in my case, I'm going to say, you know what, that is exactly what I want to do. So now I have submitted this and my fractions unit includes that specific unit, just like the place value one did before. So the students will have that to work on. Now I also want to add, and this is the distinction between the two different types of content, right? The one that has the mini lesson, all the games and the quick quiz, that's just called mathematics those problem solving activities that are often used in classrooms, kind of whole group or small group that we're gonna use as classroom activities. They're also external tools. They're also classwork skills. Um, we might call this a uh, practice problems. How's that? I'm gonna enable grading again because I want that score turned back. It's also due next Friday. Um, when I'm doing that, I actually go to the same place again, but instead of picking mathematics to get those problem solving activities, I actually pick, or those differentiated problems, I pick applied mathematics. Now, don't worry, you don't have to remember all of this. Remember, on classworks.com, we have a blue chat bubble. If you're logged into classworks, we have a blue chat bubble. We're here to help you guys if you want, like, whoa, that looked great, but huh? That's okay. Like, we're here to totally help you remember how to do that. So we'll go down, I knew I wanted 4-22. And now both of, my, both of my units, place value and fractions, both have all of this work in here. So you can see it's really easy to add high quality standards-based content into your learning management system and you already have access to it. It's just may or may not already be linked by your tech director into classwork, into your learning management system. So just don't worry, we're here for you. You've got all these great standards-based resources. You don't need to be Googling everything every day. We really wanna help you make a difference um, with kids during this uh, unusual uncharted territory. Just a reminder, this is nearly 7,000 activities, which is more than 1,500 hours of instruction. We developed it to do that link that you saw, and it's gonna automatically score everything into your learning management system. Finally, if you're not sure if your classworks and your learning management system are deep linked, you can reach out to Jerry or you can have your tech director reach out to Jerry and we'll make sure we get that set up for you. Jerry, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, just as you said before, we're here to help you and make sure that you're successful in this uh, digital transformation that's happening. So absolutely reach out to us at hello at classworks.com or click the blue button in the, the corner of Classworks and we'll be happy to help set up the 
your LMS or any other Classworks questions you have. Thank you for your time today. Thanks.